As a storm chaser, when you hear this noise, you know it's going to be a good day. At least 17 tornadoes pummeled portions of Nebraska and Kansas, along with hail the size of baseballs to softballs and damaging winds approaching 90 miles per hour. Days in advance, the Storm Prediction Center had a moderate risk over Kansas. By 2 p.m., a tornado watch was issued for large hail damaging winds and tornadoes, and then the storms rapidly exploded. Take a look at the storms firing along the dry line. This storm near Sault Ste. Kansas prompted a tornado warning. First, the hail was small, pea size. Then, it grew to quarters, and then bigger from there. A baseball-sized hailstone comes down at over 100 miles per hour, smashing anything in its path to smithereens. Officially, the largest hail reported came from the town of Susank at over four inches in diameter. That's the size of a softball. They even left craters in the ground where they hit. Now, a baseball-sized hailstone can come down at more than 100 miles per hour. Fortunately, we're prepared. We have this, a hail cage built on top to protect the windshield, and on the side over here, these special plates that cover the windows. But there was one thing that we were forgetting. Whoops. The hail took out the back windshield, smashing glass all over the car. Oh, what? Oh, shoot! Broke a window! Hail covered roadways made for treacherous driving conditions like one would see in the dead of winter. It also left a mark, many marks in fact. These hailstones melting 30 minutes later, but as all the storms line up in the dry line, you can see tops exceeding 60,000 feet. The reason the hail was so large was because it fell in the bear's cage of the storm. This is the area adjacent to the mesocyclone where tornadic development is possible. Look in the picture and you can see a rotating wall cloud lowering closer and closer to the ground. This time lapse shows it quite well. While this storm did not produce a tornado, it went on to merge with the line that produced a significant one in Bennington, Kansas. Hi folks, I'm tracking a large, violent, and extremely dangerous tornado near Bennington. Uh, Bennington, Kansas, you can see it right there. Kind of tough because it's rain wrap, but there it is, moving off to north and east, should cross I-135 in about five minutes. You can see there's a fire or something over there. It's tough to tell, but this entire thing is a road. At times, the tornado approached half a mile wide as it hit near Tuscott, Kansas, eventually meandering in the direction of Bennington. It was only on the ground for about 30 minutes and left a trail of havoc and destruction wherever it hit. As Tuesday storms reveal across Kansas, the atmosphere can be deadly, but at the same time, beautiful. Chasing storms in the Great Plains, Matthew Capucci, The Washington Post.